guy, he comes out of his gym in Birmingham, goes to a contest, devastates everybody. You know, he's not an extrovert, he doesn't tell everybody how great he is all the time, all this stuff that people expect. He just goes to the contest, win it, and disappear, and everyone's like, who's that guy, where's he come from? All this uh, enigma, and then disappears in his gym for another year or two years, and just trains, and doesn't let anyone see him, and then pops up again and just blows everyone's mind, and disappears again, like a shadow. I just outwork them. We're talking about the results of consistency, of 10 years of dedication, day in, day out, absolutely getting the most out of each day, every workout to be as good as it could be. The athlete that's been receiving the most attention in the press is an English gentleman by the name of Dorian Yates. Dorian came in for the Olympia last year. It was his first Mr. Olympia, and he actually was able to beat Lee Haney in one of the, uh, the pre-judging rounds, and as a result, he came in second place as a final finish. Dorian's been able to add about eight pounds of lean body mass in the past year. He's been sending pictures about every six weeks to the muscle and fitness offices back in Los Angeles and giving us a continuous update of, of what his status was. And it's very rare that you see an athlete who's achieved that level of extreme body mass and muscularity make those types of improvements. So uh, Dorian is going to be one to beat, so to speak, in this competition. I heard a lot, a lot about Dorian prior to the 91 Olympia. And uh, all this talk, I hadn't seen him. And then when I saw him for the first time in person, man, he was a monster. Something that I'd never seen before. years I was competing was, was living like a monk. Everything had to work around so it's almost like I was trying to create the perfect environment all the time for me to get the results from the training. That's the thing with bodybuilding, it's not just the training when you go to the gym and then you think like, oh, I forget about that when you go home. No, it's with you all the time because you've got a regime and you know, everything had to fit in with that. Real shit.